So, today we're going to be unboxing the Kinesis Advantage 2 keyboard. I've been wanting this keyboard for a little bit now. I, I remember seeing a, a, a programmer, a developer, when I worked at a startup, use one. It was so fat, and he seemed to be one of like the best programmers. And so, I feel like, yeah, just used by really based people. So, um, this is what I ordered off. I ordered this off Amazon, and um, as you can see, I think uh, you, you kind of have to check where the seller is coming from because the some sells new. I saw I bought this used, and um, and they offer a sixty day year like testing out trial period that you can send it in but i think if you buy it used or with certain sellers they don't honor that i think you still keep the warranty though so um just if you're buying off amazon just make sure whether or not it's new or used i bought this used about 300 dollars. i also saw also reached out to someone on facebook marketplace to try to get it but um but and they said they would sell it to me for 200 bucks because i doubt anyone would go on facebook marketplace and actually buy one of these things because it's such a niche thing, I feel like, but, um, but, yeah, they never got back to me, so I decided to buy it off Amazon, because Kinesis doesn't even sell it on their site right now, so if I'm opening it up, this is what the package looks like, and cool, so it has the spare keycaps and the keycap puller, which I think as advertised, there's alt right here, an extra command key. I think this looks like uh, another alt key and then yeah, another command key. I don't know if you can see it, but um, here is the quick start guide. And I wanted, I wanted to get actually the QF version, which I think has the, has the Dvorak um, printed onto the keycaps, but you know, that also costs like 40 bucks extra. So I don't think, I think just having the option of, this has the option to do Dvorak too, I think you can switch over it, just not printed, I believe. Um, and, and yeah, I think, I think if I don't think Dvorak will ever be a bigger thing, but I think it's nice to have the option because it's supposed to be more efficient. And it comes with these little padding stickers that you can glue on. I don't know if I'll keep that there because I think I like to keep everything clean and minimal. But so far I really like the way it's packaged. It seems to be, you know, it looks it looks nice and like sturdy. It says advantage two right here. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Maybe I'll have to stand up to show you this is how the package looks like. Hold it for a few seconds. And I'm pretty excited. I've been excited for this for, you know, like, I've been pretty giddy on this ever since I've been trying to make everything on my keyboard just keyboard-centric and use my mouse as low as possible. And so people are like, what? What, what are, people are like? What are you gonna spend your uh, stimulus check money on? And I guess I'm spending my stimulus check money to be more productive at work. Okay, so I guess you can just pull this out. I like it. I think I really like minimal packaging, and it sounds like this is all just like simple. I mean, this is also a refurbished thing, so it's the packaging is quite simple. Here it is. I guess I can get this box out of the way now. I want to use this chair as a little stand here. So it's actually, it's actually, I when I looked at the picture, because it looks like such a hefty thing, I felt like it would be a lot heavier. But I think there's no metal in this construction, so it actually feels pretty light. I would say maybe this feels like a pound, a pound and a half or two pounds. Pulling this out. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like it. It feels like, um, it feels like any other keyboard. It's nice and clean for refurbished the keys. These are, I think I got the cherry red keys, which are supposed to be more quiet. I don't know. Maybe I should have gotten the cherry browns. I've never used any type of, the keyboard that I have is this, the, it's this like Apple keyboard with the really low keystrokes. So I think if I'm to compare, there's definitely, I mean, there's definitely way more key travel, but there doesn't seem to be like a lot of oomph to the, to the presses. I think I'll end up liking that more. Um, surprisingly, actually, when I first used these Apple key keyboards, I hated it, but actually, because I always miss characters, I always miss typing it. You can't, when you type on these, you kind of have to slap it. You can't really like press on it. You kind of have to like slap the keys, um, which I think feels really weird, but it's, it, it helps with, this is still way better than a standard keyboard, I would say, for like wrist strain. I don't know why it is. I think being forced to tap the keys actually helps you not strain your wrist as much. So yeah, pretty hefty. I think if I'm to lay my hands on this, they promise, they make the promise that it's supposed to feel like there's these divots here that make you, that line well. Um, and I would say it pretty, it lines pretty well. One of the things that I don't like is, um, I usually use like Alt and Command a lot and I do like Alt Command A in Apple Mail to like archive mail. Um, I don't know if how I get around that. Maybe I'll end up having to do this, which isn't too bad. Or maybe I'll end up doing a thumb like that. And let's see, another thing that I like is they promised that there's a switch so you can switch from uh, Apple to Windows and then over to, sorry, I got that wrong. Apple over to PC, which I think is Linux, over to uh, Windows here. And you can also switch from, like I was saying earlier, from your regular QWERTY to Dvorak. So that's the main thing. Um, and then people say like, oh, what, what are you gonna do without, without a keypad? Very, very small numbers here, which I kind of like. Um, you, it goes, if you see it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then if you press uh, this number key, where is it? This keypad key right here, then it puts it into number pad mode. So it makes it pretty simple for you to hit those. Overall, I would say the construction wise, it feels solid. It just feels pretty light and it feels kind of, I wouldn't say it feels cheap, but I, I definitely expected more of like a mechanical keyboard feel. This feels like um, a simple keyboard, which I like, but as far as like build quality, I don't know if, um, I don't know if one would immediately say like, oh, it's nice build quality from just looking at this. Uh, they also have this small little, looks like a phone cable type of cord. And I think that's supposed to allow you to do the MIDI controller. I'm not too sure. I'd have to look into that feature, into those features. And the last thing I heard about The last thing I heard about this keyboard is that it comes with like 20 gigs storage space as like a as like a USB device. So I think it would be good for me if I'm like transferring file like transferring over from my Mac to my PC and or yeah, if I go and use my PC then I, I can just like throw files into here and then transfer it over there. But yeah, I think I I think I'll definitely have to get used to this um, because sometimes I like to press space with either way. I don't like using my right thumb all the time for space, but I definitely use the backspace. I, I hit backspace with my um, ring finger a lot, so so I think it'll actually be good to hit the backspace here or delete. And one thing I was a little worried about is I thought that I was worried that I would have to stretch my thumbs a lot because. Um, I remember seeing a, quite a lot of keys here, but it, it seems pretty convenient to actually hit any number of these keys. 
happens when I stretch my thumbs. And I like having this page up and page down key because in Mac OS, when you, whenever you have to scroll up and down uh, with non-Vim related programs, you actually have to hit this like page up, page down, which is on the right, you know? I hit, I hit this a lot in order to, you know, in say in preview or in pages uh, to like look at, even in Apple Mail to hit stuff. And I, I like having that here. So it actually can save me time when I'm scrolling, scrolling at things. I don't, overall, I wouldn't say it would take, it feels pretty comfortable, I think. Um, I think that even the shift keys here feel pretty comfortable. Uh, the tab key feels pretty comfortable. I use caps lock a lot because I've remapped caps lock uh, with escape. So I think that feels pretty comfortable as well. And then uh, with these number keys up top though, I think that'll take some getting used to. I never really stretch my hands up uh, and it kind of feels a little bit odd to like, to like, you know, I like, I like being able to just tap right there. So I think that will be the main thing that I need to get used to, but I'm excited to try this out. I think this looks really cool and I, I like you being able to use my thumbs more. So I'll make another video to update how my progress is in a month or so. Thanks for, thanks for watching.